the supplies you will need is a cutting surface, one or two rolls of duct tape, an X-Acto blade, a hole puncher, possibly scissors, a ruler, and this bind clip. Um, this is from Jim Holtz. You can order this online or any craft store. I ordered mine on Hobby Lobby online and had it shipped to me. You're only going to need one of those. You will also need some sort of Ziploc bags. I personally like to use the Ziploc brand. And this is a six and a half inch by three and one fourth inch baggie. So the first thing you'll need to do is cut four strips of tape that are 13 and a half inches long. We're going to overlap it by one fourth of an inch to um, till it gets to seven inches in height. So you should have a sheet of tape that is 13 and a half inches long and 7 inches in height. Next you will want to cut 5 strips of tape that are 15 inches wide. Now you will get out that piece of uh, fabric that you made earlier, the sheet, um, sticky side up, and you're going to take those five strips of 15 inch tape and cover up your sticky leaving a one fourth to a half inch sticky on the outside edges so all the way around should have a one fourth to a half inch um, sticky to overlap it like that and you're going to continue to do it all the way up until it's overlapped on all four sides once you have it covered with the one fourth to a half inch sticky on all four edges, you're just going to cut out the little boxes here all the way around on all four edges like that. Next you will need to start making the pocket. So for the pocket you will need five strips of tape that are four and a half inches long. So you're going to take your first strip down to the line Take your second one and you're going to overlap it by one fourth of an inch. Flip this over. Sticky side up. Take your next strip of tape. Cover that up at the bottom. And you're going to continue to cover this up. And take your last strip. Like that. And you're just going to flip over your remaining sticky. You can even do half strips if you'd like just to save on your tape. But there is your pocket. And you can trim up the edges if you'd like. So now you're going to get out the first part that we made and fold over this far edge since you're not going to need that. It's just going to be your uh, fold over edge for the outside. Um, take your pocket and place it in the corner, the bottom corner. You're going to need a strip of tape that is about four inches to four and a half inches. And this is just going to tape your pocket down. So if you have a half a strip left over from the, the pocket, you can use that. And you're just going to... Cover up your pocket like that on the side and then flip up your sticky edge. That. And so now you have the beginning um, pocket here. Trim that. And then you can fold over this sticky as well and the top sticky. Okay, now you'll need to get out your bind, your ring binder and the two brads that it comes with. We're going to measure over five inches 
and you're going to use your ruler to measure up because you want an even, um, um, an even ring clip. I guess that's what you call it, yes. An even ring clip. Okay. Um, so uh, you're going to go up about one inch from the bottom and one inch from the top because you want to center this uh, ring binder. So once you have it right where you want it at, make sure to mark your holes. You can put an X in there like I just did with an ink pen. Now you can remove it and now you know exactly where your holes are. So I suggest cutting that X with your X-Acto blade. So once you have your little X's in there, you can put your little clip right back on where you have the, had lined them up at. Place your brads through the holes. You might want to work with one brad at a time, it seems easier. Then you're just going to fold over the back part. And we're going to cover these up um, in the end, so it's okay. I know it looks kind of ugly right now. So you're just going to flip this back over and put your brad in the hole that you just cut. You want to make sure this lines up before you put your final little brad in because if not it's not going to look good. So once you have that in there once again flip it over and fold up. I'm going to push it in just to make sure of it. And you have your little clip in. Okay now you're going to get out your baggies. I'm going to show you how to do two of them and you'll do the rest yourself. So take your first bag, um, you can just cut strips of tape that are the length of your bag right here on the edge, not the zip part but the other obviously, but um, you're just going to cut strips of tape that length. I had some tape left over from the outside so I'm just going to use these pieces first. So you just cut them to the length that you want them, line your bag up. And you're just going to place half of it on. Pick it up and then you're just going to fold over your remaining. Like that. And now it's going to reinforce uh, your holes when we punch your holes in. So I'm going to do my second one really quickly. Okay, now you are going to take one of your bags that you have um, lined on the side here and you're going to measure it up to your side. And then you will take your ink pen once again and you're going to mark um, little spots where you want to punch your holes at so that way you have them lined up correctly. So I can tell right here is the one clip so I'm going to make a mark and then right here is another so I will make a mark. Okay, so you take your hole puncher and punch your holes right where you have your marks at. Open up your ring and see if it fits. And as you can tell, mine fits nicely. It doesn't show over each end. You don't want the bag to go over each end of your outside part here. So now that you have your holes in your first one, as you can see right here, you're going to use this as a template for the rest of your bags. You just lay it over top of it, lining them up. And you're just going to punch the holes in the exact same spot um, the holes are in this part. Or you can just go through and, and um, mark the little spots like we did with the first one but I highly suggest using this as a template so you know your holes will be all in the correct places okay so now you should have all of your baggies um, with the border trims on them and the holes already punched out so now you're just going to open up your binder clip and start putting them on there
once you have them all on there, you just push it closed just like that. Um, if you have these little pads of paper, I got mine at a dollar store. Um, you just, just stick it in your little pocket you have there and your pen. Or if you're using this for your, um, your tools, your hooks, you can put those in there. And we're just going to fold it together. So all you do is fold it like that. And then you're going to fold up this top part like that. But before we do that, you're going to need your little pieces of Velcro. And so I just cut mine, pre-cut mine. You can get the dots. Um, those might be a little bit easier to use. But this, I ordered a whole bunch of this. So I'm just cutting it and using it. So you just put it in the spots that you want it. Like that. And you're just going to fold it. Um however which way you want it. Now there's so many different things that you can do to these to decorate them to make them look really pretty but as you can see this one turned out just fine and if you want you can attach a little handle so you can carry it with you um, which would be very easily just add a little strap and then to um, to get it to stay down on here you can just use the little brads that you had left over in the pack. Each pack comes with um, a few extra leftover brads just in case you lost one or one broke on you or something like that and you could just use these two little um, brads to put a handle on the top right here um, so that way it'll be put in place so once you have that done we're just going to cover up this remaining spot back here where your brads came through on the other side and I like to just take a strip of tape that is the same color as the interior color and since mine happens to be pastel purple I'm just going to cut a strip of tape a little bit longer than <clears throat> seven inches so that way you can wrap around so I'm gonna do mine probably about eight eight inches the strip of tape maybe a little longer and I'm just going to open it back up ah I guess I didn't press my velcro hard enough but there we go I'm just going to open it back up, take my stuff out, and take this strip of tape and cover up my um, little brad pieces that come out the end. I'm not really sure what they call those, but I'm going to call them brad pieces. So you're just going to cover that up, and this will also make it look more like a book, kind of, I guess you could say. Flip it over and then just fold in your remaining tape. You can even, um, you don't have to do it the inside color of your tape. You can use the color of tape you're using for your outside. I just think it looks more like a book when it's done like that. Let me press it. So, there you go. There's the uh, bottom of it. And the one that I did to was actually my prototype is right here. And you can pretty much just use any kind of tape. You can decorate any way you want. I put a bow on it. You can do a flower. You can do ruffles. There's so many different things you can do to these. And they are not just limited to rainbow loomers or loom crafters. It, like I said, it can be used as a first aid kit to organize your supplies, um, your metal findings, your clay charms, whatever it may be that you like to organize for your craft area. This is perfect for a travel on. So if you're going somewhere traveling, you don't want to carry a lot, but you want to have some crafts with you for when you're bored. This is a perfect, this is a perfect thing to make. So um, there you go. That is it. And I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you guys make them, I would love it if you guys, if you were posting on Instagram to tag me because I love seeing the different colors um, that people use and I would love to see yours. So um, yeah, if you end up making one, tag me in the picture on Instagram. So <laughs> thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.